Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to the front. So get this, guys. I stepped away to have lunch, all right? When I when I logged on today, I did some, like, you know, busy work getting ready for the episode. I stepped away to have lunch, and I put myself on this little mining, mining rig here, the manual miner. And I was gone for longer than I expected. I was gone for, like, an hour and a half, something like that, and I didn't mean to be gone that long. When I came back, I forgot I left myself on the auto mi on the manual, manual miner. Now, here's why that's a problem, <laughs> because I was like, well, you know, I don't expect anyone to come over here and, and kill me while I'm on here, but what about food and drink? Guys, I was going for like an hour and a half, and I could be going crazy, but I'm pretty sure my food and drink didn't go down one point in an hour and a half while I was on this thing. So, let's go ahead and get off, and let's take a look, and this is all the stuff I got. So that's awesome. We do get inorganic salt, which is great, so I'm not going to have to go get it anywhere. I just have it right here, and that is freaking fantastic. That is really good news. And I'm really glad that they, they don't make your food and drink go down, because otherwise, you know, it wouldn't really be as useful, because you can't really leave it there for that long. But, I don't know, maybe you could have other people do it for you. I don't I don't know. I don't know. We're going to find out. I am going to have to go get some more wood today. I've got a lot to do today. This game's a lot deeper than every time I play. I find out the game's a lot deeper than I thought. Every freaking time. And I just found out a lot, a lot, a lot of new stuff. You can tame in this game. I don't know if it's called taming. I don't know what you would call it, but basically you can like recruit people to your, you know, group or whatever. Um, I, I think you can only do one person at, at this point, but I do have instructions on how to do that today, and that's what we're going to be doing this episode. Let me go over some of the notes you guys told me about. Um, someone said more fish traps, and I totally, totally agree. The only problem is I don't remember where the fish traps were. Were they in the? Uh, I think they were in this bench right here. Let me see if I can find those pesky, pesky fish traps. I'm sitting there looking for fish traps like a dope, and I'm like, well, you know what? Instead of doing that, I'm just going to type in fish. Okay, so there's the fish traps. I need some more wood. Uh, someone said they had like five of them or something. Um, I guess five would be good for me. We already have one down, so I'm going to make four more. Uh, oh, another thing people told me is to use the sickle for the bushes. It is better. Okay, fair enough. I will probably make a metal one today. And, um, yeah, we got a lot to do. This this game is... I hope you guys are excited for more episodes because I think I'm going to start... Th this game is going to be daily at the least. If I really... If the views are where they, where they, you know, I would want them to be, I might do two a day. We'll see. We will see about that. Also, people are telling me that the whole teleport thing is only in single player. So, yeah, when I said, like, don't get used to it or you'll lose it at some point, I meant in single player. I, I was... I, I knew you couldn't do it in multiplayer. Six. And we'll put one right there there and there oh look at that i can put them all the way up here there we go awesome it's a good looking ocean man it's like i've been to the ocean a lot of times it's pretty well represented except there's no waves coming in that's the only thing but other than that i don't know maybe maybe not all oceans have waves coming in every ocean i've ever been in does but uh, we should also be working on our ta on our task tracker so i need to get some more crude oil let me show you guys how to get um let me show the people who don't know how to get crude oil by hand, how to get crude oil. There is a crude oil deposit up here, and you will need a shovel, I believe. So I have my stone shovel. I'm going to avoid that area right there because I'm hoping a guy will spawn because that'll be the guy I recruit. Yeah, I read somewhere you can only recruit one person at this time. So um, I'm, I'm getting really excited for this game. You know, it's got the PvP for the PvP players. And if you don't want a PvP, then uh, you can play solo. And it seems pretty good solo. Like, all right. This is what you're looking for with the oil, by the way. All right, and I just completed it. I'll just grab all of it, though. I'm assuming I'm going to need it for a lot of stuff later. I need to repair a structure, huh? Okay. All right. Um, I need to craft a pouch. All right, we'll get into that as well. One thing at a time, game. One thing at a time. What else do I want to talk about? Someone said organic salt is in K11. Uh, K11 is all the way down here. K11. But the thing is, I, uh, there's salt over here as well, which is a little bit... I think it's a little bit closer to me. Although the fact that I can teleport around means it doesn't really matter. I've also been looking around for a place for my horde base. I don't think you want your horde base to be the same base as your regular base. And the fact that this is going to be my home means I can start building this out anytime I want. I might do a building episode next episode. We'll see. And then that way, you know, I, I, I think this is a really, really nice area to build for a home. You know, it may not be good for base defense, but... Honestly, I don't know how the base defense works. I don't know what I don't know what's good for the base defense. So, you know, it is what it is. Right, so we're gonna put that up there. Oh, okay. So another thing is these things are blueprints. Now, if you look at the iron iron pickaxe rare blueprint, it does extra physical damage, has durability, 
collection rate, but you can only craft three of them. The idea of a blueprint only letting you craft a certain amount of items is interesting. It really is. Am I hot? I am hot. So what do I do to get cool? Well, I'm not hot anymore. I guess because I was, I was out in the sun, maybe because I was running around. I don't really know. All right, one thing at a time. All right, so what do I do with this? I just learn it or something, or I can only drop it. So, it, it, like, how do I actually have it as a crafting pick? Yeah, see, I don't see it here. I'm not. I'm not sure exactly. Rare blueprint crafting. Oh, I, I need to. Oh, okay. Wait, four forty-one. Oh, I see. Wait, you need forty-four. Did it say forty-four ingots to craft that? Um. Okay. Crafting in the weapons, but forty-four ingots, really. All right, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Weapons bench. And... You have to put it in there. I'm gonna have to figure this out. So I put this uh, pickaxe in the crafting bench and it says crafting, so I'm gonna hit F. And then I'm gonna put that in there and that in there and there we go, craft one of these. Okay, I mean... Oh, so wait, it didn't take 44. Maybe 44 for all three? I don't know. No, it took... It took a certain amount. It's weird. It's like you need 44 to craft it, but it doesn't use the 44. All right. Well, whatever. I'm sure like I'm missing something obvious and I'll, I'll get it. Brand new game. A pickaxe made of iron more durable than a stone pickaxe. Got more. Uh, so my stone pickaxe, or sorry, my iron pickaxe is 32. This thing does 44 and I can put mods in it. So I want to see if there's a durability mod. You guys have been giving me so many tips. I can't keep up. So I know someone said something about dur durability mod, but I don't remember exactly, you know, what it was or whatever. So I'm going to see if I can find it. I did find some mods, but I haven't found a durability mod yet. Um, there's this mod right here for efficient skinning, which is interesting. Damage intensity for melee weapons. Quiver for the bow. And I also have an ergonomic grip in one of my workbenches. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through my tech and talents. And one of my one of my biggest tips in this game for anybody playing, if you're if you're looking through menus and stuff, just get on your freaking manual miner. It's awesome. So, all right, I did do all my tech. Actually, we don't really need to, need to do anything with the tech. I went ahead and put everything and I put the points and everything. Talents. Okay. Um, somebody said to. Do this one right here. Greed is king. Uh, for more uh, mucus from the bushes, you're going to need a ton of it. And I think that's a really good idea. I actually started making duct tape because I need duct tape for like everything. And you need the, the mucus stuff for that. All right. So we're now out of talent books. So I, I don't think we can. Well, we got a few more. It just goes up so much. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is combat. And I think I'm going for, I, I saw a shotgun. Yeah. Damage to torso shotguns. I usually end for, I aim for center of mass. So I think I'm going to up my uh, damage while shooting at the torso. Uh, I think that seems pretty good. So for this, I would need hard throws, um, explosive expert. Yep. Uh, for this, I need spear master level one. Okay. So we go there. And that's it. We've, we've used all our books. Okay. That's that's fine. That is fine. Um, I'm also going to go inside and... You know what? I could do that right now on camera because the thing is, as a YouTuber, I don't like making dark videos. I've mentioned this many times. Um, so what I'm going to need is my torch. And I don't know where I put the darn thing. Let's see if we can go find it. So you can't make this up. Like, I couldn't have scripted this if I wanted to. I went to get the torch. And then I'm like, I'll just do some work and grind off camera. And then I'll come back and, you know, uh, I'll use the torch. You'll be able to see. And I came back at almost 8 o'clock in the morning. And you guys don't need the torch. So um, I did make a torch. I don't know where my other one was. Maybe it burned out. Maybe I misplaced them. Maybe it's somewhere in my inventory and I'm not seeing it. But I did make this torch right here. Uh, so I will have a torch at least. Okay, that's great. Let's go ahead and make some tools. All right, so we are going to need uh, that. I can go in there. Going to need some rope. All right, cool. Iron sickle, iron shovel, iron knife. And then I'm going to make this thing right here. Oh, by the way, resin. I do have the uh, recipe now to get resin. It was at like, I'm not sure what level it was. Um, does it tell you what level that was? I don't know. I don't know. Probably level 18 or 19. Yeah, something like that. If I had to guess, I would say 18, but I can now make resin and all you have to do is put some uh, put some wood in there and you get resin. So I got a lot of resin on me, which is great. All right. And I don't remember what I was, what I was supposed to do next. Um, let's see. We're supposed to make this. Yeah, well, I need the resin. Wait, I have the resin in my hands, but it's not in the... There you go. All right. And then 
then we'll just put that in there and we can make the ergonomic grip i should i guess i should make two of them one for the axe and one for the pickaxe reduce the stamina uh lost when using tools can only be used on tools all right well, let's make two for now if i feel like i want the other ones for like the other tools i'll, I'll you know go ahead and do it i'm gonna take the iron sickle and we're gonna use this right now because i do need more plant mucus stuff okay so let's see what we got here okay all right so yeah you're supposed to use this um oh it actually is just as well it's, it's still not as fast as picking it up but it seems pretty good all right i guess uh <laughs> just gotta go around and get in plant mucus now oh there's one one plant mucus fern seeds i think i can grow my own ferns or something uh the person who gave me like that big someone wrote me a like a word document with all these tips in them especially how to uh tame stuff everyone told me how to tame stuff but this person put it in a word document and sent it to me which uh thank you all by the way very very uh helpful this game's very deep deeper than i thought it's actually quite deep i'm surprised at how deep it is um so zero sum i appreciate it very much buddy and i know you said somewhere in there like how to get plant mucus faster but i'm just trying to i'm getting overloaded by the amount of info i'm getting about this game which means everyone loves it because that means everyone's playing it figuring these things out and the fact that there's so much information out there means it's a hot game which is good because it's a good game i'm glad you guys are enjoying it and i will be doing a lot more videos on it but um i am getting overloaded with information just absolutely bombarded with information and i i appreciate that okay. uh so that's awesome oh level 20 all right let's see what we got for level 20. okay so lime and sand okay grab that weapons um oh wear and tear hold on hold on can I be, oh wait no that's that's what that's what i was looking for the wear and tear mod okay great i'm gonna put that on my pickaxe i, I just i never specced into it so whoops uh nothing here well we could do a bad i don't really know what that's for um my notes for sleeping but it doesn't really seem like anything i gotta be overly concerned about with right now supplies I'm surprised I'm supply I'm I'm surprised at how I'm surprised at how little I got for level 20. Oh, here we go. Diesel generator, lead acid battery, electric tool pack. Okay, I'm not sure any of that stuff is. I will look at it. <laughs> um man, this freaking game. Alright, let me go through and continue uh trying to get as much plant mucus as I can. I think we're gonna try and tame someone now. Um I just need iron ingots. There we go. And what else do I need? I need these things called a jammer. Actually, I can make it in my inventory. Jammer. Yeah, there we go. How many should I make? I mean, I don't know. I'll make five, I guess. And I'll have more stuff on me to make more. I don't know how many it's going to take. Basically, all right, I'll tell you guys how we're going to tame them, okay? Um, stabby, stabby until that you get the handcuff si handcuff, si sig handcuff symbol. English, English hard. Um, then you have a jammer in your hotbar, target them and throw it at them. Click on the key to throw the item. Like arc, you, you have multiple values, um, obedience, which is taming and chaos. If chaos reaches zero, uh, it runs off and resilience, I think is the third. If your chaos grow, gets too low, you want to totally get as low as possible. You can hit it with another jammer. So I'm not really sure how many jammers I'm going to want for this. That's the only thing nobody told or It's the only thing I didn't notice. Someone might've told me I didn't notice. And then I guess you just have to knock him on the ground and feed him or whatever. I'll figure it out at that point. Um, the jammer is what I really needed to know about. Um, I should have plenty of fish over there so I can go grab fish if I have to. Uh, and we've got the ergonomic grips. So let's go ahead on here. Put that up there. I'm not going to use that pickaxe until I get my next um, my next item, my next uh, mod for it, which is right here. But I'm going to have to get leather, which means I'm probably going to have to make some kind of... Um, I don't know some kind of tanner or something tannery or something i thought i saw one but i'm not seeing it now let's look in here maybe it's in here i'm pretty sure i saw a tanner somewhere yeah i don't know i'll look for it later i'll look for it later otherwise i don't know how to get leather unless it, you just make it unless you don't need a tanner I don't know. like i said i'll look at it later it's not like of utmost concern right now let's go ahead and get something to drink and this is going to be a sit up in the chair situation I got a pretty dope setup now with my um in my 
my new home, but uh, the way I have my table set up, there's a leg right in my way. So whenever I go to sit up, I sometimes I bang it. I'm gonna have to get better tables. I have like folding tables, and I, like they're, like the ones you'd have like a picnic or something. And the reason I like them is because they're so easy to just you know pick up and move. But I don't know. I'm, I, I think I'm gonna need like a proper desk because uh, there's little issues with these little plat. They're like plastic tables. So I mean, they they do really well. I mean, I don't know. but I just don't like having to move desks around. It's such a pain. So do we have four of those now? Yeah, we do. I hope four will be enough. We'll have to see. Let's go over here and see if we can... There's our guy. Or girl. I'll take either and they'll bother me none. I got five jammers. Jammer six. Okay, let's do this. Alright, level 19. So, I guess the, I guess the uh, enemies don't, like, level up with you, because... Pretty much seems to be the level these guys have been. Uh, how do I throw it? What the hell? He told me, but uh, do I have to hit it twice? Nope. I don't know. I was I clicked in. It looked like it took it out, but then I couldn't throw it. Throw it at them. Click on the key to throw the item. Okay. Um, I'm clicking on the key and it's not throwing it. Oh, there we go. Maybe he was too close. What the hell? Right, it's not doing anything. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Maybe I need to get him lower health. I'll try that. But yeah, this doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay. Not really sure what I'm doing wrong here, but I'm going to kill this guy. That was a bummer, dude. I just wasted a lot of resources. Ooh, an iron axe. Nice. You see, that's some good loot. We're going to go out and try again. I was asking around. I don't like the fact that wasting jammers. Uh, it's not too hard to get resources in this game, except for the mucus. And the mucus is what I need to make the duct tape to make the jammers. So it's kind of annoying uh, to lose jammers. But it's early access, guys. Um, i pretty sure I was hitting him because it was showing that little explosion thing on him. The little, uh, looks like an EMP almost. But we'll see. We'll see. See if there's anyone over here. Hello? Anyone around? I know there was someone up here last time I was here. Weren't they sleeping or something? I don't remember. Yep, here they are. Get up, bro. Let's get up. All right, let's get him off the. Uh, let's get him off the docks if we can. He's gonna get stuck, right? So let's see if we can... Well, if we get stuck, I mean... It might be a really good way to get him. Hold on. Can I get up there? No. Alright, you know what? I kind of like him stuck. If he's stuck, I'll just stab him and I can throw the jammers right at his head and he can't even do nothing about it. Oh, he's already ready to go. Alright, cool. Let's try this again. I, I might have just got unlucky. Alright, buddy. No, oh, see? I mean... There he goes. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so chaos, obedience, and... Okay, what do we have to do here? Show hide attributes? Do I just have to give him food? How do I give him food? Inventory? There we go. Here, take all my fish. Will he eat fish? I think he will. I don't see me eating fish. We'll see. It. We'll see. Have to see it. We will have to see how things go. Um, somebody said like you could make like uh, berry pie form, like blueberry pie or something like that, or you can give them meat, or you can give them regular berries. Now, when he said meat, I assumed fish would count, but maybe I was wrong about that. Let's get him some berries and see if we can get this guy. All right. So, let's see how much berries we get. We get with this thing. The food spoils like too quickly in this game. Just, just gonna throw that out there right now. I mean, this is cool, because we can also get the mucus, so. All right, we'll just grab a bunch of this stuff. And then we'll go back to him and see if we can get him. I don't know what that third word was. I thought it was, like, resistance or something. But, I don't know, that didn't look like resistance to me. It looked like renaissance or something. I don't know. We'll have to say. We got a few berries here. I'm going to go back and see if that fish is doing... Whoa, 16 berries? Okay. Wait, 16 berries? Oh, Okay. Did I have berries on me or did I just get all these berries just now? 
Because it's kind of weird. There, like some was in my hot bar and some was in my inventory. I really don't know. What's up, rabbit? You know what, rabbit? You gotta go, bro. I don't remember how to do this. Uh, I have a skin. I haven't skinned anything in a while. Seven. There we go. You know, maybe we should just make meat before we go back to him. Yeah, let's make some meat and then we'll go back to him, and then we'll have a bunch of stuff for him. And hopefully, when we when he becomes our Someone said use the S word with them. I'm not gonna use the S word. I'm gonna I'm gonna call them helpers. I pay them. You just don't see me pay them. As far as you know, as far as everyone knows, I pay them. So there we go. Activate. It's not a jammer, so let's go ahead and make some food. So now we're gonna have a decent amount of berries and some meat, which is good. I don't know about that pie, but I can make something. I don't I can make this uh, mushroom soup, but I don't know if you can give that to them. Oh, it takes bottles of water. Interesting. I can make a rain collector. I don't know if you get the bottles of water out of the rain collector or not. Otherwise, I don't know where I'm going to get bottles of water. All right, let's get over there and do my torch because it does look like it's turning nighttime. It is uh, 1700, so that's minus uh, 7 o'clock, 5 o'clock. 1700 is 5 o'clock? I think so. There he is. He's not looking too good. <laughs> Eat the fish, bro. Fish is awesome. It's got all the nutrients and supplements and stuff. Yeah, I don't think he's eating the fish. Yep, he ate, he ate the berries. How come the there goes the obedience? Okay. So is that it? Like he just ate it all? Or no, he hasn't. I'll take the fish back, I guess, if you're not gonna eat it. So I guess he'll eat the roasted meat. Maybe he can only eat so much at a time. Probably. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to get him some more meat, and I will get berries at the same time. And I'm also going to want to make some more jammers, which means I'm going to need some more duct tape, and I don't think I have that. But I should be okay to get some more duct tape, make some more jammers, and then, um, you know, we'll see if we can get this guy. I lost the guy I was taming, which um, kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? I'm not sure if it's because I went too far away. I went up on that mountain ridge to the, ro to the rabbits. I might have just, like, gone too far away. Uh, you know, he didn't seem like he was in that bad of shape when I left, so I'm, I'm assuming I just went too far. And then I went ahead and came back, and I grabbed this lady right here. So let's see how she's doing. All right, yeah. That chaos thing goes down quick, dude. All right, I'm going to take these out. I'm going to use these, like, later, because I think you might get a better, you know, resist, like, a better tame with these things or a quicker one. You can see right here, there's the hit points full in the stamina, everything right there. And I think what I have to do is I have to make some more jammers. You need, like, guys, like, I would make, like, 20 jammers at least before you do this. Because they that chaos thing goes goes down quick. At least for me it is. So let's come on in here. And it's all about duct tape. So uh, we're going to put that in there. We're going to do this and make some duct tape. And then we're going to grab that duct tape. We're going to make some more jammers. I'm going to go ahead and eat my watermelon. I don't know if they can eat the watermelon, but I'm going to keep that for me. And I'll keep the rabbit food for them. I don't know if I have enough. If I can't get it on this one, I'm probably not going to be able to do it today. Because, um, yeah, you see, here's the thing, guys. The food spoils so quick. You have a very small window. You have 30 minutes from the time you cook it to the time that it goes it goes bad. Um, so that's it's a little tough. You can't, like, just store up a bunch of food or anything. Maybe you can make, like, dry food or something, and I just don't know how to do it. Very well could be the case. And I will look into that. But um, let's go ahead and have some... Fish. Uh, fish is right there. Beautiful. Okay. All right. There they are. All right. Let's see how they're doing now. Okay. Yeah. Look at the chaos, man. Damn, bro. Uh, lady. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, favorite foods. Okay. Yeah. There you go. The fruit pie. That's what I was telling you guys about. Roasted meat and then wild berries. Restores free fullness and hydration. Restores 30 fullness. Fullness. Okay. I think you can actually take care of them with berries, but... I don't know, man. I'm more worried about the jammers than anything else. So, I guess we'll just come over here and grab some more... I'm not going to get the rabbits. They're too far away. Whatever I have with the rabbits is what I got. And the, the good thing about trying to get berries is I can get the mucus at the same time, which makes the duct tape, which makes the jammers. I just don't know if I can get enough of it quickly enough. Um, and don't leave the area. I don't know. Like I said, I went up to that, that like, cliff up there. And I came back and, and he was gone. So, he either broke while I was up there. 
or like the, the the charm what i don't know which charm what are we calling here taming yeah the taming might have broke because i went too far away let's we'll see what we can do okay you're looking good i wonder if giving the meat like has their like uh thing go down slower um, health max health i don't know why there's pluses and minuses here Maybe you can give them bonuses at some point. Yeah, I think giving them food. All right, I think the reason her chaos went down so quickly so uh, early was because I gave her berries. So <laughs> I would have like a lot of meat. Like maybe if you want to really be like careful about it, I'd have like 50 meat, like 50 cooked meat ready to go, which is 100, which is 100 rabbit meat. So good luck with that. Yeah, I mean, the thing is you can get rabbit meat, but good luck getting good luck getting 100 rabbit meat and the time it takes for that rabbit meat to start spoiling. Although I think when you cook it, it resets the spoil time. So I guess it's probably doable. And like I said, there's you guys probably told me in the comments yet. Uh, you guys have probably already told me in the comments that there's some kind of way to dry the meat or do something to the meat to make it last longer. I don't know. If you did tell me that, just so you know, I'm making these two episodes today and tomorrow back to back. So I will not see the comment by then. But um, as always, I do look forward to reading your comments. This thing's about to break. Which sucks. Okay. How you doing? Okay. So it's doing its thing. I wonder if I could put the berries like after it and they won't like get eaten. I don't know. What do I need to repair this? R. Um, does it tell you what you need to repair? Sickle. Oh yeah, right there. Iron and rope. Okay. Oh crap. I don't have enough iron. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, be uh, yeah, that's my blue axe. Okay, pickaxe. I don't have enough iron because I used it all on the uh, on the jammers. Jammers is a funny word for me. I don't know why. I'm having a fun time saying jammers. I feel like I'm like talking about my pajamas, my jammer jams. Let's go up here and start cooking some more of this. Uh, it doesn't look like we have any in there. Come on, delete. There we go. Iron ingots. I don't have any. I don't have any wood up there. There's some wood. It goes in the wrong place. Activate iron. Okay. Got to check on her again. Five. It's pretty low chaos, but I don't know if it's low enough. Two nineteen. Two fifteen. Two twelve. I'm going to give it a little bit more time on that chaos. I'd prefer not to waste any of the jammers. The jammers give 100 chaos no matter what she's at. So she's at 25%. And she she ate like I think seven food, seven roasted meat. So I might be able to do this with what I have. We'll see. I'm going to stand here and just wait for the chaos to go down. And then I'm going to make more jammers. And I'm going to work on getting uh, more berries. It sucks to use berries, but it's all I got. All right, I think we have a shot at this. I did, I did get another rabbit. I didn't have to go up top either. Um, it was down by my base. With the six more... Meat, what are these things called? Roasted meat with the six more roasted meat. I should be able to get her. I should be able to get her. And I'm, yeah, she's definitely losing less. Well, I don't know, definitely. I shouldn't say definitely. I think, pretty sure, she's losing less chaos uh, because I'm feeding her meat she likes, which is awesome. All right. I don't know how you make those uh, pies, though. Those, uh, whatever those pies she likes is, but I don't know. I don't even see them on my list. So let's put you in there. Where'd you go? There you go. Yeah, the fruit pies. I don't know where you make those. I'll be able to make them at some point, but she won't benefit from it. Now we play the waiting game. Uh, the waiting game is boring. Let's play Hunger Hunger Hippo. Yeah, I mean, we're just waiting at this point. Um, She's got plenty of meat. I've got, okay, 20 signal jammers might have been a bit overkill when I said that. I Honestly, I would probably make 20 anyway because <laughs> I, I, I like overkill. Uh, don't forget, I'm using meat. If you're out there and you don't have meat and you have to use berries, uh, you know, you might have a little bit more problem with the chaos. Then you have to use more uh, simple jammers. That's kind of what I'm looking at. But for me, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I'm going to have to hit over to signal jammers soon. I would do 20, guys. I would do 20 just to make sure. And then you could feed them berries and, and not have to worry about it. Unless berries are the same thing as the meat. I don't think the berries are the same thing as the meat, though, uh, because that would make much. Well, I don't know. I really don't know how it works, but I would do 20 of these. I would have, like, if you can get 50, 50 roasted meat, great. I mean, if you can make fruit pies, even better. And maybe you could do it with wild berries, too. Didn't work too well with me. For me, with the wild berries, though. 
I don't know why she just can't eat mushrooms. I can just do mushrooms right here. I can just I can just take her by the back of her head and stuff her face in this mushroom. She'll be good to go. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and eat first, and then I'm gonna hit her with the, another signal jammer soon. And um, yeah, she should be part of the crew shortly. There we go. Hell yeah, bro. Alright, so what do we need to do next? Well, hold F and select to subdue. So apparently it doesn't tell you to do this. Subdue. There we go. All right. Fugitive. I wonder if I can rename them. All right. Follower, tactics, inventory, show height. Now, will they follow me? Yeah, cool. All right. That's awesome. We got a follower. Yeah, it doesn't tell you about that F trick, you know? I don't know what that little kneeling thing above their head means either. Um, their hit points are looking pretty good though. All right, they all go to level level one, so you don't you don't want to fight with them right off the bat. I don't know where she's going. Maybe they're um, maybe they're uh, what do you call it? Isn't so good. They're they're pathing. Let's see if we can get her up inside. Come on, come on, follow the light, lady. Maybe I should make an easier like ramp. We'll see if we can get her inside. All right, come on. I don't know why she's walking so far around everything. Hey, come on. Come on. All right, I don't know what she's doing now. She's just running off. Doing her own thing. Let's see what I can figure out about this. I think there's a way you could like pick them up and put them in your inventory. Kind of like Conan. Okay, so we're going to go to them. Hold F and go to their inventory. Take everything out. I wonder if they actually have to eat. Probably. And then you have to reclaim them somehow. Uh, Recall follower. Okay, now they're in my inventory. Oh yeah, there you go. I really hope I can rename. I don't want to continue calling this person fugitive. It just seems mean. All right, well, fair enough. Okay, so I think you put them inside of here or something. Uh, follower food bar, follower bar. So there we go. And you have to keep feeding them. Um, where did I put it? There we go. Follower food bar. Active. Stop. Okay, I don't know what any of that does. Maybe, maybe like stuff will get done quicker or something. Oh, silicon? Is that? Oh, these two things are new because I have her, isn't it? No, they're not. Okay. I must unlock them at like one of my leveling things. Okay. Let's see how we use this person. So I went ahead and set up the furnace to uh, make stuff. I don't think she gives you any bonus as far as I can tell. I, I didn't actually check by taking her out, but um, I don't think it's any time bonus. I don't think any bonus. I think it just levels her up. And she is level two, by the way. I don't know. Oh yeah, experience 14, 14. And that didn't move, um, but she is level two. So we'll see if she keeps leveling up while I'm doing this. And um, I'm also making some silica. So let's just, I guess, make as much as we can. Right, we're probably gonna need it for something. So I gotta get more logs. Uh, I don't know when to put a bunch of logs in there. Cause I, what happens is I put all my logs in there, I forget, and then it burns without like cooking stuff. So, all right. So I'm assuming she's getting experience. Like I said, I don't see her experience moving, but uh, maybe that's just a, a visual thing. I really don't know what that means. And um, I don't know if she speeds this up. Like I said, I don't think she does. I guess I could, I don't know if you could take her out. She's, she's active. So I don't know if you could take her out in the middle of this. Honestly, guys, I don't want to take her out in the middle of this. I kind of want to let her, let her just do her thing. And um, I think we are going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. All right, for you super fans that stuck around to the end of the video, I got a little bit of bonus content for you. I went ahead and put the lady down uh, because I wanted to get a screenshot of her, like in front of my machines and stuff. By the way, really quickly, I tried to put her in here. It didn't do anything. I don't think they can work the manual miner. Which is a shame, because this is the one thing I really want them to work. Anyway, I put her down, and she disappeared. I left the game and came back, and she's still gone. Not in my inventory. She's not in the forge. She's not in the area, so I'm pretty sure I lost her. So once you pick her up, guys, do not put her down. Unless that was just a bad bug for me, but I would just keep her in the forge. She was leveling up in the forge. Just keep her in the forge for the time being. All right, guys, that's the real end of the video. I'll see you next time.